Hello everyone, I'm Yang, a senior software engineer in Driver Assistant Tech Team in Last Mile. Today, I will share how we build a brand new in-vehicle delivery app in the Rivian Electric Delivery Vans, also called EDVs. In 2019, Amazon and Global Optimism co-founded the Climate Pledge, a commitment to reach the Paris Agreement 10 years early and be net zero carbon by 2040. In support of the Climate Pledge commitment, 10,000 Amazon custom electric delivery vehicles will be on the road delivering to customers worldwide as early as 2022, and all the 100,000s by 2030. The Rivian EDVs is so far the most advanced delivery vans in Amazon fleets, with many cutting-edge technologies in the automotive industry, including two large infotainment screens in the digital cabin. We think this is a great opportunity to improve the driving and the delivery experience for our drivers. Currently, drivers are using a mobile phone with our mobile delivery app for navigation while driving. With limited screen real estate, they cannot see much more info other than the critical safety and navigation information. Drivers also need to tap multiple times on the phone after it's parked at a stop because the phone does not know exactly when the vehicle is parked. The infotainment system that is integrated with the vehicle telemetries solves this problem perfectly. So we developed this in-vehicle delivery app in Rivian EDVs. The concept sounds cool, right? But what is it exactly? First of all, it is an independent app running inside the Rivian EDVs. It is not a phone projection like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. It is a dual screen app that lives on both the cluster screen behind the driving wheel and the center screen. The cluster screen displays critical information related to navigation and safety, while the center screen shows richer information about safety, navigation, itinerary, and more. This in-vehicle delivery app supports all driver activities inside the vehicle, like providing navigation and safety alerts while driving, showing the customer notes while arriving, and showing the number of packages while parked at a stop to help drivers seek the packages. Our in-vehicle delivery app is always in sync with the mobile delivery app to reflect the latest delivery progress throughout the day. Before the driver is back to the van after finishing a delivery at a stop, this status is already synced from the mobile app back to our in-vehicle app. By the time the driver sits on the driver's seat, our in-vehicle app is already showing the navigation overview for the next stop. Whenever driver selects a different stop in the mobile app or in-vehicle app, this selection is also instantly shows up on the other side. With the vehicle integration, our in-vehicle app has access to vehicle status, which is not available in the phone. The vehicle signals combined with the location data enable us to eliminate many touches on the screen for a safer driving experience. For example, our in-vehicle app automatically starts the navigation when driver shifts the gear to drive. When the van is close to the delivery stop, the in-vehicle app automatically displays arriving screen with customer notes to help drivers gain access to the gate or find a parking spot. When driver shifts the gear to park near the current delivery stop, the in-vehicle app finishes the navigation and shows the arrived screen with packaging information. It also notifies the mobile app to proceed to the delivery screen, so drivers can directly start the delivery with the phone. I just gave you a quick intro to the features of the in-vehicle delivery app. Let's take a deeper look into the architecture. Let's start with the communication stack between the mobile and the in-vehicle delivery app. The driving routes to over 30% of the delivery stops have poor cellular coverage. Instead of relying on the popular cloud sync in the industry, we choose the local communication stack to handle the offline cases. Given the battery consideration and discoverability, we selected Bluetooth Low Energy as our communication stack. Next, Map. The in-vehicle app integrates with the same Map SDK that the mobile app is using. This allows us to provide a consistent map and the navigation experience for drivers. The Map SDK in the in-vehicle app fetches the map tiles style sheets, and navigation information from the same map backend. When the in-vehicle app first retrieves the itinerary from the mobile, it automatically downloads the offline maps for that area 
so drivers will still be able to navigate even when driving in the poor cellular coverage areas. Next, vehicle telemetry. We designed an independent headless daemon running inside the operating system in the vehicle. It serves as a hardware abstraction layer, so it hides all the vehicle integration details from the main app. Whenever there are changes in the vehicle integration APIs, we just need to update the vehicle telemetry service, leaving the main app untouched. It also streamlines the future migration to more types of vehicles. Lastly, safety features. Safety team already launched the safety features, including speeding alert in the mobile app. When designing the architecture, we wanted to share as much code as possible with the mobile app, so the safety team does not need to maintain separate code bases. We built an app development platform in the in-vehicle app with similar utilities as the mobile app. So feature teams like a safety team only need to create a lightweight shin in both apps to share their business code. In addition, we also created an in-vehicle variant of the UI library used in the mobile app. So the UI adapts to different screens automatically with the same UI code. We will continue improving the in-vehicle app as a platform so we could bring more features to the in-vehicle delivery app faster. Next, I want to deep dive into the architecture of the in-vehicle delivery app from these three areas, safety and stability, map and navigation, and security. First and foremost, safety is the most important tenant. We added a lot of features to help drivers form a better driving habit. The first safety feature is eliminate touches with contextual awareness so drivers can keep their eyes on road. Second feature is seamless data sync between in-vehicle and the mobile delivery app. Drivers go in and out of the van for 100 times a day. It means the mobile phone will go in and out of the van's Bluetooth range 100 times a day too. At the same time, we need to sync the operation instantly so drivers don't get confused. Think this as two device distributed system with loose connection while requiring robust synchronization. We tuned our BLE communication to be robust enough to handle the hundreds of reconnections. We also developed a robust algorithm to determine the current stop on the reconnection. In addition to the direct safety features, we also approach to the safety by pushing the software stability and the quality to a whole new level so drivers would not bother issues with the software. We implemented time to critical features to help us monitor the driver perceived latency for critical features. The shortened delay helps drivers keep their eyes on road as much as possible. App crashes is another important stability metric we are closely monitoring. We don't want drivers to lose navigation and get worried while driving, so app crash rate is particularly important here compared to other normal apps. In the code, we use Kotlin instead of Java to benefit the various code safety features to avoid app crashes. In the development and release process, we have set up various processes to ensure we capture app crashes before it is deployed, including feature gating, high coverage unit tests, automation tests, fake in-vehicle tests, real customer delivery tests, grayscale release, and etc. All the efforts are to ensure the app is stable so drivers can keep their eyes on road as much as possible. Cross-company collaboration is a big challenge given the deep integration our delivery app has with the system. Both Rivian and us are iterating fast on the new features and the bug fixing on our software. We also need to maintain the high quality bar for the safety of the drivers during the fast iteration. So Rivian needs to verify their changes in the infotainment system do not break the features in our delivery app. To achieve a shorter turnaround time, we developed a vehicle self-check program that verifies all the features in the system and all the vehicle signals we are interested in. Rivian simply needs to execute that self-check program in addition to their existing tests. That way, we are able to keep the high quality bar while moving fast. Map and navigation is another big component in the in-vehicle delivery app, especially there are dual screens in the Rivian EDVs. This is a new experience in the industry. We have gone through a lot of iterations by collecting feedbacks from our team members who went out for driving, and of course, the real drivers. In the end, we landed on the current solution, 
which is turn by turn on the cluster screen and the overview on the center screen with fine tuned zoom levels. Last but not the least, security. In the delivery station, there are many vans nearby. How can the driver connect to the in-vehicle app in the right vans within seconds to avoid data being leaked to other drivers? We designed this VIN-based vehicle discovery and auto connection. The in-vehicle app broadcasts the VIN through BLE. Then the driver scans the VIN-encoded QR code as part of the vehicle inspection in the mobile app. That is what they are doing every day right now. Then the mobile app automatically discovers and connects to the in-vehicle app with the right VIN. This ensures the phone is connected to the right VIN without the driver needing to do anything. After the connection is established, mobile app verifies the X509 certificate from the in-vehicle app. Then it generates and shares a session key with the in-vehicle app. After that, all the messages in this connection are encrypted by the session key until BLE is disconnected. Now we have established a trusted communication channel between the mobile and the in-vehicle app. We still need to log in in the in-vehicle app so it can talk to the backend services. We don't want drivers to type in the username and password again inside the van. So we use the code-based linking. Basically, the in-vehicle delivery app generates a code and sends it to the mobile app to get it authenticated. Then the in-vehicle delivery app logs in with the code. This process happens in the background and the drivers do not even notice it. Lastly, if you are also excited about using technologies to assist Amazon delivery persons, please do not forget to check out our career page linked in the description below. We have a lot of opening roles and thank you.